Hello and welcome to the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. This brew has been brought to you by our friends and partners at Drive Centric, NQ, MXS Solutions, Pure Cars, Fixed Ops Digital, and M1 Data and Analytics. If you want to consume more brews or want more information about how to build your brand on our podcast, go to carguycoffee.com. Let's brew! I'm excited about this year. I'm excited about 24. So let's get into that. Yeah. We talked about 23 and how 23 was. We talked about some of the good stuff, some of the bad stuff. We talked about life. But I want to know what's brewing What's brewing with you in 24. So I'm going to kick this off with Jenna. I haven't heard from you in a moment. So let's get you on. What is 24 looking like for you? What's, gonna, what's the greatness coming? There's so much greatness. I have no idea where to start. First of all, we have a partnership this year. So that's super exciting. That's right. That's right. Uh, huge things coming for NADA, but I'll let you guys speak to that yourselves. Okay. But another thing that's cool that you guys were talking about a lot this entire time was getting comfortable being uncomfortable. Mm. And we have a great person speaking about that at NADA in February. Yeah. Once, come by the booth come see it but another dc20 in march our first one to kick off the year and we're doing a lot of new things with it this year it's only going to get better from here so make sure to inquire if you're interested and if we are inquiring minds want to know what are the dates of that dc20 event dc20 the first one of the year will be march 6 and 7 this year but we have some really interesting speakers, and we also have two other dates lined up for the rest of the year. So if you can't make it to this one, let us know. We'll get you All on right. this. Put it in your planner, everybody. Who do you recommend from the dealership to come to the first one? Anyone from like a general manager or someone in a managerial role, just okay. because they're going to be the ones who can not only take from the education, but also understand from a bird's eye view of how the dealership is being run and who really needs to take the lessons that are being given. Boom. And so true. And the reason why I brought that up, everyone who's watching or anyone who's on the show right now is that they have different themes for it. So sometimes the marketing manager should be there to help you able to use that tool a little bit better. So pay attention to what's the hotness. But either way, if you're a leader, just show up. Those things are great. You'll be inspired and you'll be able to go back. Carlo knows what's up. And Carlo, Carlo talk about speaker. Carlo's a speaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the other thing, my favorite event of the year. Folks the see. other thing I will say is it not only is it a great networking opportunity, but it's also just a fun time whether you're a drive centric user or not you're going to feel the culture by being in it and it's really just one of a kind so really if you guys want to come dude, let us know. they have a great coffee machine a couple of them sitting oh, in there no, they got yeah. snacks they feed you uh, like crazy they have the best office in the country the best office i'm still mm -hmm. i'm serious i literally when we, like we move our office my I, you know i dream big when I open an office, I want it to be almost just like that. Like, I'm honestly going to probably steal it. Like, I want that. bigger ceilings for the pickleball court. Yeah, like, we they do have a pickleball court. You gotta, yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah we, we need to like, have the pickleball court or something. <laughs> got to elevate it. That's the next step. Elevate. This year, 2024. 2024. They're going to make the pickleball that's court a little right, bit nicer. Right. I love it. I goals for 2024. to look forward to. Uh, Maybe like a fighting cage or something. I don't know. That's just oh, that'd, be, that'd be really good. <laughs> that'd be really good. Tony will show yeah, for that. Yeah, Tony will come through. Nice, nice. But speaking of somebody that's not afraid to get it on the mat, Jeremy, what is brewing right now with VinQ for that's 2024? Right. Where is it that you guys are taking it as you, you gained inspiration from Drive Centric to be able to put on your event that way? And just as much as you guys have a ridiculous amount of fun, I would have to say from the pictures and the videos that I've said that I've seen from what's happening at VinQ headquarters, you guys were the most fun place. And then you saw DC20's event at their place. But what is brewing with, uh, with VinQ? for 2024. <laughs> yeah, like Jenna says, it's, I don't even know where to start. The big thing for me is all the partnerships and APIs that are about to get released. Can't quite talk about all of them yet. Drive Centric may be one of those, but that's probably the biggest for me is just when we when I came here, we were so small and all those partners and vendors and we were trying to uh, have integrations with, like, nobody's calling us back. Nobody's answering Danny's emails. And as we continue to grow, it's like, I, I talked to Chris the other day and he's I'm like, what do, what do you want me to do with all these like partnerships and stuff? And he's like, let's spend some time and start going through them one by one. We went from trying to beg and create these partnerships and we're getting told no to now fast forward to some pretty big companies that have taken interest in our, not only in our product or our solutions, but just 
our people. I think we've spent more time together at shows than, than I have my own family. And I think it, the biggest piece to really any of these vendors is the people. You can have cool products, but everybody on this call or video has most likely been in the car dealership. And it's like people buy from who they like. That's it. Point blank, if it's if you can create a relationship and, and a bond, most importantly, with these partners, it's the product doesn't have to be there all the way. And, and that's how we started. It was like, we're competing with my ex employer, one of the biggest companies in automotive. And we didn't have some of the things they had. And, and what we did is we just continued to listen to our dealers. We had, we were fortunate to have dealer uh, groups and partners that were like, Hey, we know you don't have this right now. We're going to, we're yeah. going to jump on the boat with you and we're going to help you continue to build and, wow. until one day we're the biggest ship and that's going to be this year. Hey dealers, Car Guy Coffee podcast and certified solutionaries are honored to be part of Team BenQ. The solutions they've been brewing for you to acquire more vehicles, advertise merchandise and manage those vehicles has made them one of the most sought after dealer partners in the market. They are 100% CGC approved. And when you visit them at BenQ.com, you'll see a whole hill of beans worth of reasons why. Team BenQ, let's brew! The other big thing is Unleashed 2024. That's going to be in September. Yep. So not only did we introduce the world to the best barbecue in Kansas City, you may be aware we're also known as the best whiskey in the country. So Word. get a C. Oh yeah. yeah. So, get a C. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's sounds that's a really <laughs> tough Big one. Those Kentucky boys are like, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I will I will take it for the test. Yeah, yeah, see we'll, what we'll, that's we'll about, try right? we'll see what you're doing. But no, yeah. I, I, and then you got them Texas boys down there talking about, like, talking, about barbecue. talking about barbecue. You got Tony, and then of course Courtney's in there. And I know Brad's probably in the background going, "Oh no, <laughs> no, yeah. no, all right." It's all it's all got its own little. I little, agree, little and flavor. I love Kansas City barbecue too. But I like Texas. I like it all. Yes. They all have their own little flair to it. And there's some, there's some places better than others in each one of those cities too. So it just comes down to what you're looking for and what you're trying to get. But I love it. Even St. Louis will say they got good barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, got, we got Lisa Jenna jumping up in here saying that best barbecue equals Texas. That's okay. right. Okay, again, all open for interpretation. So I'm gonna throw this next one. I gotta go to Courtney. Courtney, and and shout out to Jean Paul Guidry over there That's in right. Louisiana. We see you. We see you and making yes, all the comments. We're all about. We're all about some of the, the pickleball. Thank you for inviting. He's us the one who actually pickleball. introduced us to thank pickleball. So thank you for that. Yeah, we are addicted now. So addicted. Courtney. I got to throw it at you. What are you looking at, 24? This is a – me and her still have to sit down and do her goals. We're getting ready to do that here in the next couple of days. But, like, <clears throat> I want to know what your 24 – we're going to just do your goals right now. Yeah, what, Break what, it down. Let's go. Yeah, do it to oh, the world. And you put it out to the universe. Let's make it happen. What's in store for 2024? Oh, man. I just left the dealership side. I worked at a dealership for 10 and a half years. I just left being an inter internet manager. And – I knew God told me that I was so much more than that. He said, you are so much more than an internet manager. And I heard that for many years, but I didn't know what I was meant to do, where I was meant to be anything like that. And, you know, I gave him, I surrendered my life to him and yep. I said, I'm yours, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. And I know that this is going to be hard and dark, but I need you. And it was just climbing up a hill and everything just, fell into place. So on the 15th, I will actually start working for the automotive assistants, Jen Kane, Stacy Ellison. So we will actually be going into just helping dealerships, BDCs will help them. I had to write all of this down because we do so much yeah. and we will be doing so much more. So we'll be helping dealerships find people. We'll be doing interviews. We'll be doing onboarding and training, internet everything, data, everything. But one thing that I wanted to really do this is on the dealership side, I wasn't looking for vendors. I was looking for partnerships. Mm -hmm. yep. And almost I would interview these vendors. They're trying to sell me a product, which I hear every day my husband would complain or he would tell me about something. And I'm like, don't say that. Don't do that. That's not what we want to hear. Yep. And and so I would interview them. And if they're there to just sell me a product, then I wasn't interested. And so I love that I will be able to help dealerships and provide. I want to be their partner. I yeah. Even if we don't do business or something, I want to be able to help you. 
Amen. Because that's what, at the end of the day, that's what we're all here for is just to help each other. And we want to help each other succeed. So thus I, is why you're going to be so successful, Courtney. Yeah. Literally, I just got to tell the story. If you guys have ever seen any, any post or anything that when we talk about each other or whatever, is that at the beginning, around this time last year, a little over a year ago, we sat down, did all her goals for the year. She knocked out most of those goals by the halfway through the year which was amazing. She just had a couple things like finding a, a new job, like what she found to be able to have more freedoms to be able to do the things that she wants to do. That happened at the very end of the year. So I just got to say, and I want to say is I'm so proud of you, Courtney. You've overcome so many things in your life and yet you do it gracefully and you keep moving forward. Even when you think it's not going to work, you still do it. And that's why you are successful. So keep pushing like that. And this year is going to be the best year of your life. I know it is. I just know Thank it. You. So we I can't wait to see you. what your goals. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. I can't wait. News. But we, I want to know something real quick, Courtney, because we want to be able to make sure that we keep highlighting as much as we can talk about the, the particulars inside of business. We are big promoters that this is bigger than business, that what it is that we're doing inside of our communities is bigger than business. So you are knee deep, your hands getting dirty inside of the ministry that you do with in, inside of your area and beyond. Tell us a little bit more about what it is that you're doing to have an impact for the kingdom. Hmm. Oh, so I am staff at, it's called No Boundaries International here in Amarillo. And so what we do is we help anybody and everybody in hard and dark times. We primarily focus on human trafficking. I am super excited because I will be able to go to the office every day and help people while working for the automotive assistant. However, Thursdays are big days. So yeah. from 11 to 1.30, we reach out to people that are selling themselves online. We will meet them anywhere and everywhere, and uh, we'll just bring them a gift, and we try to build that relationship. Hey, dealers, franchise and independent, we have some great news for you and your number one sales pro. Your, your website. website. Partner with Team MXS, we have the ability to pull you out of that cookie cutter, merry-go-round, and help your website embody what it means to do business with you. From the highest quality production to the most strategic optimization, we want to help you connect better to the ever-changing market. Go to you and your team to at least let us do a quick and free checkup on your website. We can't wait to hear from you. Go, Go to, to teammxs.com. Back Go. to the show. From 5 to 7 p.m., we actually hand out groceries to people in the community. They come to our facility. We get to build a relationship with them, give them groceries, sometimes a meal, and uh, just, just pray over them and talk to them. Then at 9 p.m. to whenever we get done, we actually go into our strip clubs here in Amarillo and we bring gifts to the girls. And that is just something that, that we love doing. We go in there and they will leave their clients and they will come and run to us, show us pictures of their kids, tell us about how they're doing in school, what their life is about, anything like that. We serve the homeless, anybody and everybody. And I love it. I love being able to I don't, to tell these people, I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you're doing. And I don't care what you're about to do. Jesus mm. loves you no matter what. I love you no matter what. And I am so proud of you. Oof. And some of these people have never been told, I love you and I'm proud of you. That's and right. I get to be able to tell them that I love you and I'm proud of you. Mm. And it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Cheer on, everybody. Cheer on, everybody. Yeah. That's, That's like been the biggest to why, y'all. That's a big part of what she does and why she does what she does. And I'm proud of you. And just keep doing that. And that fortitude that you have towards that, it's not easy. I, could, I don't want to do that. It's, it's not. It's so hard. And I know you've seen some real, I know we've had some stories together where you've told me about some stuff that happened. And it's never easy. I said, I know how emotional you get about it because you mean it. But we love you for it, Courtney. Thank you so much for sharing that, folks. Reach out to her. Cheer her on. So speaking of the why which is Car Guy Coffee, fundamental question that we have all the time. It, it's something that John Resurrection does incredible with M Team MXS is being able to focus on the why you do business with the dealer. Of course, mm -hmm. there's a lot of metrics. There's a lot of things that go on, but you help to highlight the culture of the store, of the location that they're at, of where it is that they are and what they do. And we are encouraging all dealers, all those that are trying to get their product out there, represent why people should do business with yeah. you, who you actually are. John, I know that there's a lot that's brewing with you. And uh, there's some clients that are watching. There's some clients that are in here. But why is it and, and how is it that you all focus so much on the why of the dealership and what it is that they brew inside of their community because you're doing an excellent job of capturing it if you yeah. guys haven't seen some of their work check it out 
Yeah, I think that the biggest thing, a lot of people, they know me as the guy that is the brand awareness guy, the guy that does a lot of videos, goes into dealerships, talks about the why more, highlighting the the people that really matter in the dealership. And that's the salespeople, the people that are actually grinding day in and day out. A big part of my success in the car business was doing those type of things, was highlighting my people, right? Getting onto this other side now on the vendor side is still preaching it to the other dealerships and, and having them focus on the brand, their people. And so what is, let's be, let's be very real with this. Does anyone in here follow a dealership unless you work at that dealership? Probably not because dealership stuff and content and, and social media stuff is just blah. It's always that customer that they sold. Yeah. And the only person that's viewing it is the customer that bought it. And they probably shared it with Tia and Theo, right? And a couple other people and auntie and uncle, and they all like it. And that's it. That's as far as it goes, right? And so how do you tell the story? And that's the biggest thing is, is making sure that dealerships tell their stories because I'll be honest, you sit down with an owner, a guy that is brick and mortar, brought their dealership, just like a Bruce Miller. The reason why I appreciate Bruce is he's doing it. He's a guy that understands that, okay, I had nothing. I'm building this and I'm going to have you guys follow me while I do it. And it's not just car stuff. It's everything, right? And this is why people gravitate towards that. And, and I think if, if dealerships really focus on that aspect as about being a part of the community being a part of the employees and investing more into them and giving them incentives because social media for some of us is a personal thing. It's like almost asking, who do you vote for? People are like, hey, hold on, don't ask me that. That's too personal, right? <laughs> like people don't like to talk about the politics, right? So they think of it as social media as well. Hey, that's my personal stuff. I don't want to show my stuff, but that's their business. Having that, having said that though, being the why, the other aspect of that for a dealership perspective, what they should be focusing on other than the social media aspect of it and highlighting their why, highlight your website is a salesperson. It is your number one salesperson, right? If your website, if you can't be proud every time you look at your website and say, damn, that is a good looking website. It's just like when you get on your people, why is your shirt not tucked in? Why yeah. is your tie not all the way buttoned up? With Tony, why you only got one sleeve cut off and not the other one? Like, cut both of them. <laughs> but, you know, right? And that's our biggest thing, right? And, and Jeremy, you can contest this, right? Because you have a, you guys have a platform as well, right? Look, your website is your number one salesperson, right? And you can tell many stories through your website as well, other than it just being a, a site that just holds inventory. Your inventory should look good. Your About Us page should look good. Your home page should look good. And if you can put videos in there and just highlight the focus of the people that work there on your site, more power to you. And that's what we're really going for. So you're, that's the biggest asset. And I think that what people should really be looking at. So I love that, John. I don't, I can't disagree with you at all, brother. And yep. it's, it, it is big when having that culture, showing your culture, people want real, real. They don't want this bull crap. People want to buy from somewhere that they feel yep. like they have a connection. Yep. And speaking of connections, man, I like, we recently started working with Casa Autoplex. They bought a new group. They bought a new row of dealerships, right? <laughs> I love it over there in Las Cruces, but the culture there is phenomenal. And it all, they always say the fish rots from the head down. The one thing I love about Casa is that their fish head is extremely fresh right now. So speaking of culture, Tony, let's talk about that a little bit, brother. What is exciting about 24 and what about culture drives you guys? We know you're enjoying the show so far. We just wanted to quickly remind you about our partners at Big Ops Digital and how they are automotive's premier service marketing and technology company not only proud sponsors of the car guy coffee podcast but they also serve as your dedicated point of contact for all your online service marketing related needs servicing dealerships throughout the u.s and canada the mission is to create a better online experience for your service customers while using data intelligence to drive more fixed operations revenue if you want to take your service marketing efforts to the next level go to FixOpsDigital.com. Back to the show. Let's go. I don't know, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to blow up. <laughs> Listen to these people. Oh, man. <laughs> like, it's just, I, I think in 2024, I want to be, have more, like, emotional intelligence, like Jeremy. Mm -hmm. See? Like, I'm over here. I don't even know what to do with my hands. Like, this dude is over here. Just like, yeah, man. The, the moment that I heard Bruce talk, I was ready to go run out the door like crap, like a crazy person. Man, these folks are 
just winners. Bruce, you're going to win no matter what. Courtney, oh, my gosh. Like, he's just, wow. Is it? Check this out. Uh, the reason that folks like this are, are going to win no matter what, it's because they, they're living their calling. And that's where, that, that's why I relate right now. It's, it, that's why it sucks being my competitor, bro. That's a, it, 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 it's, <laughs> is this life? Come it's on, live. yeah, it's live. But it's true. It's so true. <laughs> Before you go any further, I want to tell people this like, really like, quick. <laughs> the about, right the thing about Tony is Tony, when he took on this job as general manager, before he made the decision, I remember sitting there talking with him and his, in the way his like, brain was thinking, he goes, I feel bad. It's going to be hard for them. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, I feel bad for every other dealer in our auto group. I feel I build for every other dealer that's going to be in my competitor because I'm going to crush him. And, <laughs> and he means that with love, because if you don't do that, then what are you doing? So anyway, I got to tell people that because that, that, it's true. That's you. to the I, full. I, With a lot of love, man. Like, this is, you can't be me. I'm leaving my calling, right? Amen. We have a calling here. The, Courtney, Bruce, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm about to blow up right now because, man, Casa at a core and Tony Lucas as a core, we exist to improve our well being of a community and build careers inside of this auto group in a way that it just bleeds into people's lives. It's not, I don't live no, no balanced bullshit life like my personal life and my professional life. It's all mixed up, man. Like, I want to bleed my passion into people's lives where they they go home feeling filled not just bothering and hating work they were they, they're going home talking about with their family about how amazing it is to be part of this team and how they were winners and man the reason why people like us and that we live in a calling we're gonna win no matter what it's because it's a, like pure passion at its core right N not too long ago i heard this my favorite definition of passion and it said Passion is the ability to endure pain. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, this is the best because we, we have all kinds of people talking about passion all the time and podcasts just like this one, man, like talking about I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about that. That passion only lasts until they feel a little pain and things don't go right. Right. Like at the moment that things don't go exactly the way that they want and they quit and it's not passion. And I love you. Like, I, I just pick a different one that wasn't passion at all uh, you put the moment that hurt but for folks like bruce inspiring that's why i'm so pumped right now i'm like ready to run out there inside yelling on the showroom floor because it is true passion it doesn't matter what comes to his life or comes against him he's not gonna quit can't beat him can't beat him can't win and that's what he sucks being a competitor man it's not because i don't like you as a person you're just gonna lose because i'm leaving my passion I'm leaving my calling and I'm going to win. I'm never going to quit. They right. say you can come up with all the gimmicky commercials and tools and all the things and stuff. Uh, we're going to win because this is just a calling. I I'm pumped. I I'm so glad I came to this. I'm not the best at talking and all this stuff, but I, man, listen to y'all. Oh, I'm ready for 2024, man. Let's go, man. Man, I got to say that. Thank you. For sharing that. I'm so glad. And I know that everyone that heard that from you, I know that every person on this show right now, everybody watching gets that, man. It is. It's going to be a great year. Inspiration comes from so many different places. That's why I put this panel together. I know that we all know each other, but to get a little bit deeper, to understand each other a little bit more, to be inspired, this is the beginning of 2020. I'm pumped up too. I think I might challenge Tony to an arm wrestling contest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there, man. We need to have that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, yeah. live your calling. And, and, and Tony, Lucas, you said it so right. I, you're so right. People are living their calling. And when you do it, you feel it. It's like it's a pocket that you're in. You may be uncomfortable, but you feel that pocket. It's like that perfect little. You feel out. I, I skateboard. And there's there was a there's a moment when you're skateboarding where you just realize I have it. I got to figure it out. I could ride on this thing and I could cruise, right? And that's exactly what he's talking about. Find your calling. And when you live your calling, you're going to cruise. You may fall down, but you'll get back up because you know how to do it. That's right. So that's important to find your calling. So thank you for sharing that. Each one of you all has found your calling. And I'm so blessed to call each one of you all friends, to partners. Each one of us are doing major things and we all encourage each other. We help each other. And that's what this industry is about. The future of this industry isn't individuals. The future of this industry is people. All of us together pushing forward, doing the right thing, even when other people are not looking, right? Or when they are looking. 
because <laughs> just know that there's a lot of times there's those peeping toms like our friend paul peters <laughs> who's dropping uh some hate to some of our people that are on the show right now and just know if people aren't hating on you you ain't doing something right <laughs> that when people start to throw shade your way that means that you need to continue to keep reaching towards the light so paul peters we appreciate you jumping into the show <laughs> and we appreciate you like a hater does but inside of that we love you we're praying love for you, you. Thank you so much for mm, giving bless your heart of what it is that we know <laughs> people that ain't really doing nothing do is hate on those that are. That's and we right. have an incredible That's panel boom. of That's those right. that are really making things happen inside of the industry. We appreciate that each and every one of you are up in here making it do what it do. But know that there's going to be a lot of javelins thrown. There's going to be a lot of daggers that you're going to still have to pull out of your back as you continue to strive up the hill and you ascend to where it is that you're called to go but this is a calling this is bigger than business this is bigger than just the transactions this is about truly brewing solutions That's and right. each and every one of these solutionaries are rising to the top and we can't describe to you enough how thankful we are that each and every one of them have taken the time out of their day, out of their busy schedule to brew with us. Just a couple of crazy car guys that love highlighting the incredible people that are making things happen inside of the industry. We are so thankful for each and every one of our people who have jumped in, commented, showed love. Make sure that if you're watching this on the replay or you're watching this on the live, reach out to each and every person that you've seen here on the show. If they've given you something that you appreciate and you're putting in your cup and you're sipping on up, let them know. Show them a little bit of honor because as a That's solutionary... Right. We honor and we honor well, even in the face of dishonor. <laughs> I appreciate you, Paul. You are pretty funny and you're good with your words, brother. But with that said, Solutionaries, I am so very thankful uh, that each and every one of you are here, that you are having fun with us and get ready for even bigger things to happen inside <laughs> of 2024 because we are on the move and we want to keep brewing with each and every one of you quick question do you know what smart pixel 2.0 location iq and audience iq have in common you know i do they are solutions that our friends and proud sponsors m1 data and analytics are brewing for automotive and beyond once again you're right my friend <laughs> And we want to invite all of our audience to go to m1-data.com to see how they can help propel your business forward with the right data insight. Go check them out at m1-data.com. Let's brew. Come on now. Back to the show. So with that said, Bruce, we want to know. We want to know because of your immense wisdom and your incredible wordplay. We want to know what in, from the independent side of the world because we know you all are being attacked. We know that attack is coming and we ain't scared of attacks. That's why we step up to the plate each and every day like we do. But we want to know what is it that you're brewing right now for 2024 that has to make sure that everybody inside of your region says either I'm getting on board or I'm getting out of the way because this is all gas, no brakes. Hey, look, like Tony, <clears throat> I love competition. I thrive off of competition. Man, I, we playing checkers, pickleball, whatever. I love competition. So when I set out to be, oh, and also from this point on, the rest of the podcast, I want to be referred to as Pretty Bruce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have, hey Tony, we need to send him one of your shirts. <laughs> oh, I'm sending it to you. No, but uh, I set out, I set out on this journey um, uh, to work for franchise people. Like a lot of people I've run into in these last year and a half, two years, outside of, in the circuit, as you might want to call it, going to conferences and things like that. I ran into some amazing owners. I'm in the 800 percent club, and there's amazing owners that, like, I think to myself, man, I would have loved to have worked for those guys. But unfortunately, I did not work for those guys at certain points in times in my career in New Orleans, and I learned how to treat people i learned how i wanted how to value my employees from working for people who didn't treat me well who didn't value me so I, I made it to the top i was 40 years old i was a managing partner of two stores in the city of new orleans i didn't have to leave my hometown to go get that opportunity like a lot of people do i was 20 percent owner of a hyundai store 10 percent owner of an audi store 
and I was uh, just like let go abruptly right in the middle of the pandemic, fire without cause. And at that point in time, I said, man, I'm going to go build something. The claw my way back into owning new car dealerships. It cost millions of dollars, a lot of capital. And so that's what I'm in the process of doing. I have one used car lot, Miller Motors, and I have a, a partnership at another used car lot called Automax. And Automax is adding an additional lot. I'm adding two additional lots to Miller Motors. I have like the real estate picked out, things like that. But I want that name, Miller Motors. I want my logo to be all over the city. Right. And I, I represent uh, any, if I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> my mom, right. mom and dad were alcoholic and drug addicts. They're both not with me. I lost my, my dad killed himself at 25 years old. I, I, I'm a high school dropout. I ran with a little street gang and I was an adolescent. And one of my friends was murdered. One of my friends did 10 years in prison. One of my friends did eight years in prison. I had a, I was married at 20 years old. I was a father of two at 23 years old. You know, every one of the little catchphrase or thing you said, it, statistically speaking, if this person had this, it would be hard for him to be successful. I have them all. I check all the boxes. Terminal mm-hmm. cancer. My wife left me divorce and on and on and on but i'm still here and i'm killing it in 2024 and i'm not asking permission that's what i'm trying to tell you come on there I'm you not go. To no more bs about the economy i'm not falling prey to any of that we're making it happen in 2024 yeah make Let's it go. because i'm not asking happen. permission that's right i'm doing it the bully takes your lunch money not because he's hungry he takes yeah, your lunch less. money because he can't that's what Tony used to do. Right. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a great show. I'm so glad we kicked it off this way, Lou, man. What a great love lineup love. of some phenomenal people. Um, each one of you all, I love. I absolutely love. I would do anything for. And you guys know that. And and if there's anything we could ever do, please let us know. We appreciate you all. Folks, you guys know how to get a hold of them. You just gotta, all you got to do is reach out to them and they'll answer. Even though some of them are dealers... They're still out there to help. They understand that. There's competitors. They are. We can lead a horse to water. Doesn't mean you're going to drink it. Most people won't. That's all right. If you do drink it, you're my friend. Just saying. So anyway, make sure you guys keep leading them horses to water. And I know everyone here will. So I love it, Lou. I'm excited. Yeah. So excited. Thank you so much, Jenna, for getting those magical hearts to get up on this. For the first love. time. How that happened. <laughs> it's rocking. Love it. Love it. Love it all. So What's going on? Car guys and car gals. We're so, again, very thankful. Does anybody have anything to add before we get out of here? Forgive Focus Fly and go on to Bruin Solutions for our industry. Jeremy, John, Courtney, Jenna, Tony, Bruce. Anybody got anything or are we ready to fly? Yeah, I no, I'm just fly, baby. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just so inspired to hear Bruce Miller's story. Me and, yep. me and Fred and Lou, we've talked a little bit where I haven't got to that point to to really share my past. I share many of those check boxes that you mm-hmm. ran down, almost every single one of them outside of the cancer. So I really appreciate you getting vulnerable. What I've really learned is things happen for you, not to you. Ooh. Period in yeah. the story. Yeah. Like that, that, when I figured that out where I was, maybe I lost that job or my wife left me as well. And it's, you know what happened? I found a better woman and I found yeah. a better job. Yes, and I sir. didn't really see that stuff at, at first. And then it was yeah. like, man, things, Look, things happen for you. Not Amen, Germ. That cancer has made me a better person. I'm a better person. You should have met him before. You wouldn't have liked him. The same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a be- I'm a better person. I love people more. I love my kids more. Amen, yeah, man. The, the time when you spend time with your kids and family, it means more to me because yeah, I know my, my time is not prime. So I'm a better person for it. So yeah. I, I believe just like you, Jeremy, you, we go through things and it's like, it's, and that's, look, at this point, everything I just said I went through, when something bad happens, I'm like, let's go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anybody else got something they want to throw in? I saw Tony put his hand up. Uh, I got a uh, I got a bigger TV. I thought y'all. Would be <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> oh, that story. I, that's something for. A, that's a good story. We were sitting there. I got to just say it real quick. We were sitting there. Lou was looking at a computer, right? The computer screen. And Tony's like, "Hey, I could put this up on the TV." Lou looks back at the TV and goes, "No, we can just look at the screen. We can just look at the screen." <laughs> I to go get a bigger one. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. We're all about brewing solutions and upgrading everybody. I see it back there. Because, Looks good. Because it, it is what solutionaries do. We brew solutions. And like we were just hearing, and you all are hearing out there that all things work together for the good. Amen. Mm-hmm. You can have a petty Paul Peters hating on you, yeah. but solutionaries rise everybody we rise above it 
we get above those things that try to hold you down, that try to clown. It's all good. We want to make sure that we do smile. We want to make sure that we laugh, but we get things done. And these solutionaries are those that are brewing solutions. So inside of that, you can't get a full fill up in just one show, everybody. You're going to have to listen. You're going to have to follow. So make sure that you follow, that you subscribe, that you call, that you text message, that you email each and every one of these solutionaries because they have plenty more. And we're so thankful that they were able to contribute some into today, but there's so much more and we can't wait to follow up with what's going on. Maybe mid-year we get this entire assembly back together to see where are we at and where are we going That's and done. what are we excited we'll about. We'll make Let's that happen. Look for that in the, plan, in the middle everybody. of the year, folks. We are so excited about it. So solutionaries that are rising up, let's go ahead and forgive, focus, focus and, and let's fly. fly. So let's on three, everybody, let's get it rocking and rolling. A one, a two, three, forgive. Forgive. Focus. 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 Fly. Fly. And keep rowing. Keep rowing. Rowing. That's right, everybody. I am Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And I'm Fred Lenard, subprime hero. And you have just been brewing solutions on the car guy coffee podcast kicking off 2024. There is so much in store for the entire industry with these leaders in the mix. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you soon. Pay attention for tomorrow, but share this around, everybody. <laughs> everybody wave goodbye. We'll see you soon. Keep ruin solutions. We out. Peace.